Good morning. I am meditating live in the Serious Joy Garden Studios in Costa Mesa, California, and this is your Monday Namaste Today. Good morning and namaste and welcome to Namaste Today. My name is Christopher Otecki. I'm a psychic astrologer and I call myself the Sensei to Serious Joy. Here on earth to stand in my heart and walk in the light. Thank you so much for joining me once again in a fresh, bright, beautiful week here on planet earth. <laughs> and we've been going through it, have we not, my friends? Over the weekend, we were stepping deeper into our heart. The sun is in Leo. And when the sun is in Leo, that means the human race is focusing on their I love state of awareness. So as it turns out, you don't just have a mind, you have 11, 12 voices inside of you, and they all really are 11 voices that orbit around one voice, the heart. That's the sun. 11 voices that orbit around one, vo orbit around one voice, which is our heart, the sun, which is what shines. So our solar system is the soul's system. That's where astrology and humankind come together. It just happens to be that the rate of which the planets rotate around the sun is the same frequency that human beings rotate in different states of awareness. Okay, so now we're in Leo, which means we are now focusing on our love, the heart of us, the center of us. And our heart is the part of us in which everything rotates. And this is going to be a powerful week, my friends. Such a powerful week. I'm super excited. I did some preparation. A couple, I guess, a little house cleaning announcements, I'll say. One is, is that I'm here in the studios here for a week or two because I'm working on the new Serious Joy Personal Sensei service. And, uh, you know, I was thinking about on the way here, just so people understood, you guys ever watch picture pages with Bill Cosby? You know, picture pages, picture pages, lots to get to pick. I used to do that as a kid, and I realized I'm just creating picture pages. I just want everyone to be able to interact with what I'm teaching and sharing, and that's what the personal sensei services. So I bring it up just because um, this week I'm going to be focusing on getting to the heart of ourselves. So if you're not my personal sensei service, I'm going to be sending you a text this week that help you get to the heart of things. In fact, I'm posting... Uh, in uh, we have what we call the Serious Joy Town. It's like a lounge for the personal sensei service. In Serious Joy Town, I'm going to post a meditation on how to get to the truth of your heart. So you can watch it at your leisure. I'm recording it here in the studio. One of the reasons I'm in the studio is to do some, some, some things I wanted to bring to my uh, to my viewers. But as of Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, Wednesday really is when I'm going to start. I'm going to start uh, giving you some extra information about how your heart works according to your aim, which is your artificial intuitive matrix, and uh, and helping you to stand in your heart this week. Because, this is why I'm bringing it all up to, because this week we are indeed uh, jumping into our hearts. That's what this week will be about. And each Monday, I'm going to bring a little structure to my traveling show. I want to each Monday give you a little bit of a preview on the week to come. So today's video might be just a little longer than usual, because I want to give you a, a preview of the week. This is going to be a powerful week, okay? On Saturday, it's World Love Fest Day. World Love Fest Day is when the sun crosses over Venus, okay? And it's also, in this case, involved with Jupiter. So it's a very, very powerful time of the year. The sun will be crossing over Venus. The sun will conjunct Venus. And when our heart returns to Venus, we have pure 100% love, okay? So I always do, this is kind of a holiday I invented, is to have Love Fest Day every month, because I think we need to pay attention to when we're in our heart every month. And this Saturday is the Lo World Love Fest Day, which is the most powerful day of the year, to feel the love and exchange the love. So all week, I'm working with you as Sensei in the Personal Sensei Service and here to get you deeper into your heart so by the end of the week you can feel this triumphant moment, which I believe is us returning home, returning back to our home. So without further ado, I think I've said enough house cleaning to start this off. Let's see, I have a new uh, video recorder here, so it's hard to tell where the time is. Where's the time? <laughs> uh, let's check in with my guides and see what they have to say for Monday. So, 
Hmm. Okay. So they brought me right away to Venus, and um, there's some interesting things going on. Uh, they're also bringing up Saturn, and I was going to talk about Saturn, guys. <laughs> uh, first is Venus, and they go together. The truth is that Saturn is direct. So Saturn was retrograde for a long time, but it it moved to direct status here. Um, had to find the camera. Oh, it's over here. Uh, it moved to direct status uh, in about a week ago, but you don't really feel it the first week. So I don't really bring it to people's attention because because um, there's other things I think as sensei to focus on. But today you'll start to feel Saturn and they're pointing to Venus because Venus is at step 25 retrograde in Leo. So retro, we are returning retro. So it's like we are returning to a place in our heart, Venus. Uh, Venus is I receive. So we're returning to a place in our heart where we receive love and guidance really from creator. Step 25 is the highest spiritual step. So if you're a person who's born with step 25 and you're a step 25 person, it doesn't matter what sign you're in, you're in the highest spiritual vibration of that particular sign. So Venus is saying, open up to the highest spiritual calling in your heart. And that's what the, my guides were talking about was the Venus is time to open up. And that means opening up to your purest dreams, to your greatest wishes, to your truths they're showing me. And then they show me Saturn. Now Saturn went direct about a week ago, but I think today we're starting to feel Saturn. Saturn's at step 28 Scorpio. And so what this means is that we are now moving ahead with emotional boundaries, Scorpio. All right. These are the final emotional boundaries that you will uh, probably mess with for 30 years. So this is a very big deal. And what the guides are pointing out to today is that what you're setting boundaries today to is whether or not you will open up to your highest, highest truth, which is your godly truth, which is your spiritual soul, which is your soul contract. So in other words, today, what rules the day? Step 17. <laughs> so step 17 rules the day. That is, I love and sense. Seven is sense. I love and sense. Seven sense. That's interesting. I never knew those two. I never really put those two together with words. Um, I seven sense, right? And that comes to an eight, which is I decide. So today we're deciding. We're deciding based on something we sense. This sense is our greatest truth, our greatest sparkle of eye in our hearts, okay? It's very, very deep. And if you think it's about a given person, go deeper. If you think it's about a given project, go deeper. It's about who you really are and what your soul contract is. And what your soul contract is, is what your heart would love to do. So people go to me, I don't know what my, my contract, you know, people pay for readings. Like, what's my life purpose? It's like, well, that's an easy one. What your heart want to do? Like, because what your heart wants to do is what you told God you would do. It's what you told all of us because we're all playing in this big, you know, passion play together we call reality. And so whatever your heart wants, that's what you raised your hand and said you would do. So today it's really time to get extremely clear. The moon, the, the moon. So it's a two-part day. The moon's really in cancer today. So that means the moon has returned home. When the moon returns to its own sign, it's, a grand, it's in grandmaster step, as I call it. So it's in its grandmaster step. It means we're all wringing out our emotions and filling it with new emotions. We're allowing our emotions to let go of the last 28 days. It's been tough. Um, and we allow ourselves to be replanted with new emotions. Today, what are we being replanted with? Well, we've got a fresh new moon in Cancer, and we're being replanted with our heart's greatest desire. And with Venus at step 25, that means you have to open up to the God consciousness. So they're telling me to tell you what step 25 means. Step 25 is two, I feel it, and five, I think it. So basically, when your thoughts and feelings are on the same, same track, your psychic side seven opens up. And that's what I've discovered here as a light walker on Earth. I'm bringing out these truths about astronumerology and how it all really interacts with each other. But the truth of the matter is, is all you have to do is get your thoughts and feelings on the same side. Now, when people meditate in life, that's exactly what they're doing. They're trying to get their mind on their spirit. Guess what? Your spirit uses two, I feel, to communicate. So remember, emotions are the language of the soul. The soul communicates in feelings, okay? So does other things. Our body communicates in feelings, for instance. All right, Memories come up in feelings, too. So when you replay a memory, your body calls up the spiritual feeling of it, and then your mind and the rest of the you know, reality take over. So step 25 is about I feel it and I think it. If you were to meditate, what do you meditate on? What you feel. When you meditate on what you feel, you can talk to God. Seven. So meditate on what you feel today. How do you feel? Do you feel angry? Do you feel jealous? Do you feel this? Do you feel that? And when you feel something, don't run from it. Don't label it. Go deeper. Go, okay, I want to feel that even deeper. Why am I so angry at this person? Why am I so happy with this? Now, I don't really think people are going to be uh, releasing anger today, but my guides are showing me some people have broken hearts that they have not addressed. So if you have a broken heart you have not addressed inside of you, you might feel some anger, okay? And that's okay. 
We send love. What do you do when you have darkness? You add light. What's adding light? Love. Okay? So it's like, okay, I love that I'm in pain. I'm sending me love. I'm sending this love. Don't you have to send the person love. That's Remember, they're just a reflection of you in a mirror called reality. So really when people try to send them love and send them away with love and all that stuff, you're really still playing the reality game when you're worried about them. You know, any master doesn't need them. Anyone... Anyone who is stepping into their spiritual mastery doesn't need them present, doesn't need them to know. Because it's your reality. They were playing a role of your reflection. So if you want to go yell at your reflection some more, go right ahead. But you're not really getting to the source of the projection, right? And so you're going to be, you know, chasing your tail. And that's where our society and our whole world is still quite primitive as we are chasing our tail. So um, that was all necessary. I'm like, was that okay? They're like, yes, we wanted that. Okay. <laughs> uh, my heart wants to, you know, be of good soul service. So Mars is what I'm brought to now. Mars is at step one, which means Mars, our ego, is at step one, I love. So our ego is behind what we love. Now, the ego was offline over the weekend, so it was like a very wilted. Uh, it was at step zero, and I felt very wilted. I think we all felt wilted and tired and whatnot. And that was Mars shifting signs from cancer, extreme emotion now to the heart. So Mars has come. To eventually conjunct Venus, and that's when he's going to make love to her, and I think that's when we're going to finalize this whole thing, when Venus gets pregnant. I'll be reporting on that. But Mars is here to give you strength and determination and give you a foundation underneath that heart, which means if you want to get angry, transmute that into being there for your own heart. If you want to yell at them, transmute that into being there for your own heart. If you want to stay in anger, transmute that into working out in the gym and being there for your heart, feeling good. All right? Cardio, by the way, does clear the heart, and people who do cardio clear their heart chakra out of gook. So those who exercise clearly get cleared because the heart is being exercised. Anything else, guys? Okay. So Black Lilith is the last thing they bring. Boy, they bring her up a lot. Okay, and they're telling me why. It's because... Um, people are just so sure of the way it's going to turn out. That's what they're saying. Like, oh, you're just so sure. Or you just, you just think you got it all figured out, don't you, smart ass? I'm talking to people's minds, you know, because the mind is the dumbest part of us. Honestly, the smartest part of us is our soul. The mind is just here to like a magnifying glass, look at it, look finally at what we're creating and pulling to us. But Black Lilith Step 28 means that, you know, you are deciding right now how the story will turn out. So every time you go, oh, it's going to turn out this way, and so it is. So recognize that the darkness of Black Lilith is there to remind us of what we're not anymore, what we're not doing anymore, what we're not going to feel anymore, okay? We're not going to let ourselves experience anymore. So when you feel the darkness, that is the not. And remember, the dark is here to define the light. When anyone is dark, what ends up happening? We look to who's not. They define the light. So it's a role I don't want to play. I'm not playing on the dark forces this lifetime. I'm on this team of light. I've always, no, that's not true. My soul's like, no, you haven't. <laughs> I was like, don't be on camera with your guides. You can't really lie, you know. But I was like, that's true. Okay, I've been on the dark side. I did. I studied not this life, really, although I was born under it, so I was reminded of what I am not. Um, but, uh, but yes, the dark defines who we are, and, and we've all spent lifetimes where we have been dark because we were learning who we were not. And even if you were dark in this life, you learned who you are not. And that is the whole point. It's the breathing and exhaling of God in the universe. So, Black Lilith, as a final note they wanted to say, is uh, being conscious of what you were, what you don't want. So when your fears come up right now, good. They're here to show you what you're not. They're not here for you to fall, surrender to them. Okay? That's like monkeys being afraid of bananas. <laughs> and I'm like, I saw a monkey throwing a banana. I don't know why. So I think that concludes today. It is a beautiful day out there. We're going to be working on um, our hearts all week. Uh, be sure to register for my website, soulgarden.tv. If you'd like to be a part of this picture pages, I'm going to start with the psychic kind of like training, a little bit of training on Wednesday. And I do want to say, if you're interested in some real psychic training, uh, my spiritual colleague and friend, John Edward, is doing this video program through Hay House, of which you can sign up for some free preliminary videos. But if you want to do some psychic training, I got to tell you, people have asked me over and over, Chris, do you train psychic? No, I don't really. I mean, I'll train and teach, share with you what I know. But I, you know, this is my own, like, you know, like running. It's like I run really good, but I don't know if I can teach it. John Edward is excellent. I recommend if you are serious, you check it out on Hay House. I'll put the link in my daily blog so people can go there. And I know you want to get started now because I think it's coming up soon. It's kind of uh, in good timing with this whole super blast. So um, good luck and light to everyone there. And I will see you, my friends, in 24 hours with more. Remember, I love you and live, love, be. So